Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about a brand new Apple product named the Apple Watch X. This is going to be a new model for the Apple Watch which is super exciting and if you guys can remember the original Apple Watch came out in 2015. So we're coming up to like the 10 year anniversary hence the name X and we could be seeing this 10 year anniversary watch in 2024 or in 2025. Now this makes a lot of sense to call it the Apple Watch X because if you guys remember for the 10th anniversary of the iPhone, that's when Apple came out with the iPhone X. So they could be doing pretty much the same thing just for the Apple Watch. Now so we've got a ton of leaks and rumors to talk about right now in today's video so let's go ahead. First talk about the design, so according to Bloomberg's Mark G. Mann, Apple is planning a major redesign for the Apple Watch that will coincide with the 10th anniversary. It looks like Apple is planning on making the watch a little bit thinner and giving it a slimmer casing with a new design. Now we don't really know exactly what it's going to look like, but basically just think like a smaller version of the current Apple Watches that we have right now. It's just going to look a little sleeker, a little more stylish. You can see right here in this rendered image that it definitely looks a bit thinner. It's not as big and bulky or anything, and it's a little bit more flat edge, which I think it would be awesome for Apple to make this watch have the flat edges that were rumored a couple of years ago. We didn't end up getting it, and it was still the rounded edges, so it would definitely set it apart from the regular Apple watches. Now let's talk about bands for this SW because it's going to be a little bit of a controversial topic here. So Mark G. Mann again was saying that Apple is trying to work on new ways for the bands to attach to the Apple Watch. It looks like it's going to be a magnetic attachment system that Apple is considering would free up space that is taken up by the cutouts for the current band attachment points. And if you remove those band attachments, you actually get quite a bit more room on the actual chassis of the watch. So if they do that, and they do implement magnetic bands, you know, maybe they could increase the battery life. They could do a whole bunch of different things with the extra room. Now here's where the controversy is. So if they end up doing this, that means that the old bands that you've accumulated over the years, they will not be compatible, which I already know a lot of people are going to be really upset about that. Because if you think about it, like watch bands aren't cheap in US, they're like 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars. And if you bought maybe like six or seven over the years and then you get the new Apple Watch X and maybe they just change that design for all the Apple Watches going forward, then that would mean all of your watch bands are essentially useless. But the little glimmer of hope here is that since 2015, when Apple introduced the Apple Watch, all of the watches since then have been compatible with all of the bands. So maybe they continue that trend somehow because I think that's such a drastic change that a lot of people are going to be turned off from that. Because like I said all of the watches over the last almost 10 years have always been compatible with all of the band. So if they just suddenly change that it's going to be absolute mayhem. Now let's talk about the display here. So it says that Apple is working on micro LED display technology for the Apple Watch and those rumors suggest a micro LED watch will come out in 2025 and that lines up closely with when Apple is planning to launch the Apple Watch X. So it would make sense for the Apple Watch X to be the first watch with this new display especially because it's an anniversary product basically. So it would make sense that you add some cool stuff to it try to get people excited and try to get them to go to the Apple store and make a purchase. So adding something that's not on the other watches would definitely set it apart and make people more enticed to go buy it. And there was a lot of reports that Apple was going to be bringing micro LED to an Apple Watch Ultra maybe next year or the year after. But by slimming the case and making the screen a little bit larger, they could definitely do the same thing but on the Apple Watch X first, but yeah overall I think micro LED would be a pretty awesome thing to add to the Apple Watch. Micro LED is just going to make it a little bit more energy efficient compared to LED and it's got less risk of screen burning compared to OLED. So I think micro LED is the way to go. 
Now we don't really know price-wise what this thing is going to cost, but I would say it's obviously going to cost more than your standard watch. I don't think it's going to hit the price point of like the Ultra, but I think it's going to have some features that the Ultra doesn't just to set it apart from the regular models. It's probably going to come with like a special band, special packaging, maybe some exclusive wallpaper, something like that. But it's essentially going to be like the regular Watch Pro, but not quite an Apple Watch Ultra. Now before we end the video, I want to just ask you guys a question. Would you like to see this special edition Apple Watch maybe have a completely different design? Because there's also some pretty crazy rumors that the Apple Watch X will have a circular design which was rumored for the regular Apple Watches about a couple of years ago. But then it didn't end up happening. But it looks like those rumors are surfacing again. And if Apple do so, I think that would be a drastic change. And I just don't see them doing it for an anniversary product. This is a 10th anniversary product, and if you introduce a brand new design on an anniversary product, I just don't really see how that makes a lot of sense, but at the same time, who knows Apple could just make it circular and call it a day. Let me know what you guys think. Would you prefer to have a rounded Apple Watch, or do you prefer like the boxy look? That is it for the latest news and rumors regarding the Apple Watch X. I think if it were to release maybe like April this year, I would definitely get it. But like I said in the video, if it doesn't come out in 2024, then I think they're probably going to wait for that April 2025 date. So that they have like an actual 10th anniversary from when the first Apple Watches were being sold. But this is super exciting, I think. This is going to be a really great product, and a very exclusive product too. And I think Apple collectors and everything are going to want to get that, because like I said, there's probably going to be like special packaging, bands, wallpapers, all that. That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you guys subscribe. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.